something that you absolutely can't do using the graphical user interface at this point is store a variety, a list of different regular expressions in a database using the GUI, but you can do it with Flexi Layout language. So we know that we can use regular expressions and character string elements. We know that we can separate more than one regular expression with a pipe symbol, but here's yet another uh, option for you. With Flexi Layout Language, you can store those regular expressions in a database and you get all that benefit. Like if you change a regular expression and update it in the database in real time in production, the next time an image is produced is is uh, processed by Flexi Capture, it's going to take into account that new list of regular expressions. And then the same caveat applies if you choose to store your regular expressions in a text file. This is static and if you make a change to the file you're going to have to go back to Flexi Layout Studio and re-execute um, a point pointing to that file and export your AFL file and then um, that update will be taken into account. And listed here are some more database related methods for instance, we have the ability to return the number of records in a request or uh, prepare a data set request for database quick access and to receive data about a particular record. So in summary, let's remember that pre-search relations code is executed before actually searching for the image uh, for that given element. And the program looks at the GUI settings from the tabs to the left of the advanced tab first. And then it runs the code, and the code overwrites anything that was set in the GUI if it's referring to the same method or function. And there's one more helpful tip that I want to show you before we wrap up this presentation, and that's the show in code feature. So I've got a static text element here, uh, very simple. I've got a search text, but the maximum space length has been changed from the default of 50 to 200. And if you want to start learning Flexi Layout Language, one way to do that is to make an alteration to the GUI and click Apply, then click on Advanced and click on Show Options as Code. And there you can see the code that's generated, that's the underlying code that's executed in Flexi Layout Language. And you might notice then, and you can learn the syntax. So the function here is called max gap in line. And if the default was still in place, that would read 50. And here it reads 200 because I changed that. And so you could copy and paste that and paste it into the advanced pre-search relations, and perhaps apply a conditional argument. So I think that's a really helpful thing to know, and it can help you kind of learn the syntax a little bit more quickly. You'll also be really benefited from checking your knowledge and learning more about Flexi Layout Language by checking Abby Help. So if we click on Flexi Capture 12 at help.abby.com and we go to Flexi Layout Studio Help, then you will be able to scroll down and see an entry for Flexi Layout Language. And here you'll be able to see basic concepts and drill down and learn about advanced pre search functions, post search functions, a lot of good. Uh, information here.